Margaret Dixon was 22 when she was sentenced to die. Forsaken by society and betrayed by those around her, she was sent to face the hangman's noose. All for a child that was never meant to be. There's nowhere to be seen. Oh, not again. Maggie, calm down. I'm sure he'll be back soon. It's nearly been a day. Someone has to know where he is. Listen here, you. You've been coming here out here every ten minutes for the last five hours. You want to know something about your husband? Oi, oi! No here, no now. I don't fucking care. You're good at two shoes up, husband. Went and left you. And from what he told us, it seems he deserved it. Done you there! Maggie was a fisherman's wife, selling her husband's produce whilst he was away at sea. However, when he refused to return, she had to find other means of supporting herself. What? Fucking doors are you slamming up there? You don't pay any the bills. You don't do any of the work, but you slam the doors. Disrespectful little shit. You're worse than your mother. I will come up there and beat you. I'm wondering if you got any work. I need somewhere to stay. Well, you've come to the right place. Turns out my son here actually needs a hand cleaning the inn since he doesn't fucking do anything all day. Isn't that right, son? Isn't that right, son? So then, what's your name? Margaret Dixon. I go by Maggie, though. Nice to meet you, Maggie. Or Margaret. I'm John. John the innkeeper. Lord of the lads. Now, before you start working here, I need to know, are you pregnant at the moment? No, never, sir. Ah, that's perfect to know. Anyway, you'll start tomorrow. Maggie and the innkeeper's son started having an affair, and subsequently, Maggie fell pregnant. She had to hide the pregnancy or risk being on the streets. She wanted to actually get rid of the baby, kill the baby, but she didn't manage to do that. So she left it at the side of a river. Uh, then, when the baby was discovered, she was actually arrested and sentenced to death. Margaret Dixon, you stand here accused of breaking the Concealment of Pregnancy Act, and all signs point to you murdering your own child. I only see one punishment fit for such a crime. You are to hang by the neck until dead. She was hanged outside here in Grassmarket, um, and then was buried in a coffin. However, when taking her to bury her, they noticed some noises coming from the coffin. Maggie awoke, defying death. And when the courts found out, they actually acquitted her, deeming it an act of God. She actually then reunited with her fisherman husband bought her own ale house and had her son. However, she wasn't known as uh, Maggie anymore. She had a new name. Half Maggie, Maggie! Half Maggie, Maggie! This is Maggie Dixon's, a pub in the grass market named after her, to tell her story. Cheers. <laughs>